Howdy, y'all. Joe Hills here, recording as I always do in Nashville, Tennessee. And I'm going to go ahead and disable the heads-up display, or HUD, for those of you who like to abbreviate things, or HOOD, for those of you who really like Doctor Who and make a point of driving that point into everyone else's skull. There we go. HOOD disabled. Now, why don't I need that? Because I'm out of the game. It looks like, uh... My suspicion that the Endermen had tampered with the blocks in the Jester Citadel while I was there were incorrect. In fact, I myself had created a timer that was my undoing. Vetches, in an act of great subtlety and deviousness, left the snow blocks directly adjacent to the gravel there, right where he knew that people were going to place torches. And I placed a torch there essentially setting the ticking time bomb that would ultimately kill me. And so, here we are. Vetch has made one crucial mistake. He left his dark book here. The same book that he uses to create these worlds. Well, let me tell you something, Vetches. Look who's the creator now. And I say it's time to kick some glass. I have the power. Vitches look upon me in despair. Well, would you look at that? It's the sky. And doesn't everything look beautiful? I'm just thrilled. Look at this fleecy box. That's right, Book. You flutter in the breeze. It's a beautiful brand new day here. Look at everything. We got lava coming out of whatever the heck that trap Vitches built for us was. We got stalactites over there made out of glass now, which is kind of neat. Um, you know, we got all this stuff over here, all these ribbons and everything. Look at them, they're all sunlit and wonderful. I can see the forest over there, and it's lit up. Well, this is truly a new day, but you know what? It's no fun having a brand new day when you're still a loser. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to run back to Vetch's crafty little table workbench thing here, and... Pow! The power of magic and science has combined the rail with the book, and if you look around, it doesn't seem like much has happened. Do you want to know where that rail goes? I'll tell you. See, I figured, wait a second. When I die, I come back here. Unless I don't have a bed, in which case I go back to the game over area. Now, I'd, if I had to wager, that wool there didn't have a bed. So we are just going to try this. Wool, I'm coming for you. And before you know it, we'll be back with our trusty red wool in paradise. Area game over. You lose because your bed was missing or obstructed. Well, as you can see, the far-reaching implications of my playing God and messing with Vetch's uh, stuff has left me here in a glass rather than bedrock enclosure. And what's this? It's my good pal, Long Lost Red Wool. And, ta-da! There's the uh, nice little railway tracks that I left. And a nice little box of mining-related uh, propane accessories or mining accessories. And we're off. To a slow but steady journey. I don't know exactly where this will land. Okay, well, maybe I do because I'm the one that played God. But, you know what? Let's just enjoy the journey while it lasts. As you can see, we're starting to uh, load up some sort of walls over there. I think that might be the very edge of the map. Um, this is kind of what's known as the scenic route. And there's not a lot to see, per se. But, well, that was kind of neat. That's the Grand Canyon Gap. And this is the other one. The other one's kind of neater. People like that one better. Oh, look. There's something incredibly bulbous. It might be some sort of Bulbasaurus. Or no, no, it's not. You dinosaur lovers out there, no, I'm just making that up. Nope, this is the back of the home of the spawn and the caves of madness. Well, doesn't that just bring back some memories? Seems like only last week I was bashing my head against the wall while them baby silverfish were, you know, ruining my life. And instead, here I am with some, uh, you know, newly reclaimed red wool. Oh, and there's our little, uh, what do you call it? Nether portal thing. I never really got a safe passageway out there, as you can tell. I've still got the gravel covering it up to keep me safe from the skeletons while I dart in or escape. Got our ribbon spire up there. 
I kind of suspected initially that the respawn area would be inside of that thing, but that was not the case. Oh look, it's the Forest of Enderman. Which, as we all know, was based on the nightmares of Paws Unpause. But look, Paws, you don't have to be afraid anymore. The sun is shining and is lighting up all of this. There's that little bunker with all them wolves in it and all the horrible things. Nice and retro. You can see mushrooms over there. Everyone loves mushrooms, including but not limited to everyone. We got our tower way out there, you can see. Man, it's so much easier to see stuff in the daytime. I've got to say, I am enjoying this. So there's that old wizard tower. And oh, look, here we are. It looks like my magical uh, Vetch's enchanted rail line thing is meeting up with my pre-existing rail line. So that's nice and convenient. So more memory time. Um, let's see. There's that tower down there that was already destroyed by the time I got to it. And there's that tower there that I blew up with the TNT instead of using to farm zombies for food. Which, you know, would have been smarter at the time, but now that I've got this whole forest thing here and the farm and everything, I don't really need to do that. There's a little house made of stupid half slabs that I despise. And uh, there's that winter hellscape that looks a lot more friendly in the daylight, I'll tell you that. Whoa, no, I don't want to go back there again. That was like a three minute journey, and I will have none of it. I don't have time for that. You know what it's time for, guys? Let's run over here and grab a chest and a sign. There we go. We got our red wool here. We are just going to slap that right there. And we're going to say 18 out of 19 ain't bad. A eh, bitches? Done. Light it up. So there we are, guys. All 19 wool in one shape or form, including diamond, gold, and iron form of wool, uh, in our happy fleecy box house, we have brought the new day and apparently a new night as the sun is setting. But this will not be the typical night of the nightmare realm, devoid of stars and moon. This will be a night to remember with constellations, and I'm having a hard time standing on top of this music box because... You know, I'm not always the best at things. But, you know, I just want to say again, thank you so much to everyone who's supported me. Thank you to everyone who's subscribed, who's told a friend. And thank you especially to Vetches. I haven't gotten to meet Vetches in real life yet, but the first convention I go to, I'm going to buy him a beer. And if you go to one with where you see him, you should buy him a beer too. You should donate on his webpage. You should just totally go out of your way to thank Vetches because he is like... One of the coolest, most talented, most creative individuals alive. And without him, we wouldn't have these adventures together. And so, you know, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. I've been thrilled to have you guys playing or watching me play. And I've been thrilled to have all these experiences shared between us. Love your comments. Love your support. Keep adventuring.